Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Stormworks. Today we have a new uh, model. Uh, we are trying out a new um, aircraft. It's a VTOL uh, vehicle and it's um, inspired in part by the Thunderbird 2 uh, plane and the Pelican from Halo. So Pelican from Halo is a VTOL um, vehicle as well it's, it's used to deploy troops uh, to the front and um, yeah support operations um, in this um, in this particular aircraft the center part uh, you can see this X structure this is uh, this should be detachable right so we can switch the the, the center part so in that sense is is different than the pelican but uh, it's uh, similar to the thunderbird 2 if you know um if you're familiar with the thunderbird series uh tv show then you know what i mean um yeah otherwise it's like a modular design right so you will uh switch the center um the center module depending on what mission you are um, you're carrying out and in this case uh, we have uh, four modular engines two um, in the main wings and two in the back of the craft and we have um, four fans ducted fans uh for the impulse and also two extra ducted fans to make uh, maneuvers while in VTOL because when um, these wings will go um, vertical then um, these um, fans in the tips of the wings will help the the, the vehicle rotate um, along its uh, vertical axis so what is missing is the possibility because we can go back and forth by changing the tilt of the wings and um, but we are currently not able to move sideways well by the way i haven't tested this uh, just yet um, so we are going to to test it now um, yeah but uh, you know you know what i mean here when when i say like um yeah how this should work um with um vertical uh takeoff and landing uh, procedure so let's let's spawn this in so i have a control let's let's get into the cockpit first and i will show you of course this is a work in progress so yeah um it it's lacking a lot of the final details and structures so i have this um center um lever here to control the orientation of the of the wings so that would put them uh, vertically completely and then i have a uh, a key shortcut to then um, modify the, the the current angle this is to make small adjustments by the way i have to change a little bit the well i have to change the orientation of the uh, of this pivot um, rotors here uh because i want them to i want to be able to to move them back as well because here they are they're moving in such a way that make the aircraft go forward but here now they are in in the limit so i need to be able to tilt them a little bit backwards as well so that's um that's one thing so let's move them back to their place original place 
Now this uh, lever, this lever here controls the main, um, the main engines, and this one controls the back engines or au auxiliary engines. Let's turn on the the main engines first. <laughs> Those are the main engines. These ones. Let's turn on the auxiliary. going backwards. Oh, I think yes. I think it's pointing in the wrong direction, right? Or it's the clutch is uh, is the clutch or the fans? I think I don't know. One of them is pointing in the wrong direction. Let's fix that. Because when I um, put pressure on the on the on the clutch, uh, it goes backwards. So probably the I don't know if if it's the fan or the or yeah it could it could be let's say it could be fixed by tilting the fans or by inverting the the numbers in the what would be easier yeah I don't know if I got confused by this by the plus and minus let's try to invert them I think that's that would be better Oh, which one is it? Is the big one the large? This one are large. So let's for remove it. Oh wait a second. I need the. Uh, let's undo this and let's put the symmetry. Yeah. And now. Uh, Okay, so the thing about the fan there, I need to Okay, I think that's the right way of doing it. Oh, but it doesn't let me. Mm, I think I will need to cut here in this plane. I think these are so such a cool feature of this game. Like um, we can um, look at sections of the of the of our design. So we can cut through and uh, yeah the, the the like we don't get um what's it called obstructed by by the structure of the of the vehicle we can just make these cross sections it's really cool i love this uh, feature there so this is how they should be placed and this is also i think this is also the case for um for the smaller ones as well let's 
So let's remove them. And let's add there. Oh, but I'm not there. Um, but not like this, like that, right? Yeah, there we go. So this should work. Let's try it. Let's turn on. That was too much. Yeah, I have to be very careful with the back one. Yeah, but it's um, it's working on ex as expected. Um, it's just that um, yeah, I feel like let's spawn it again. I feel like uh, we will need more, maybe more um, fans. Let's see. Look, it, it will it will take. This will take a lot of uh, trial and error, but yeah, this is good to know that there's a way to, yeah, we have control over um, one of the rotation axes uh, when in vertical uh, takeoff and landing mode, when we um, apply more or less torque to the, to the back through the through the back um, fans right so that's that's good to know but of course um, I would yeah I, I need to to bind these things to keys because it's really difficult just to um, be driving the the, 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 the the plane and then um, by the way I think I I will change the, the volume, the master volume, right? Because it makes a lot of noise. Or at least in my headphones, it's really loud. Oh. Oh, I pressed the reset or what? What was? Apply, apply safe. No, it doesn't. Okay, so let's put it at fifty percent. Ah, uh, here. Ah, that's better. Okay, let's um, let's get this. 
started. Okay, that's good. We're moving now. By the way, I, I decided to make this model in, um, in Stormworks instead of, uh, for example, Space Engineers, but they're different, right? But especially um, Stormworks is specialized on um, like Earth weather and aerodynamics, uh, contrasted with space engineers. Okay, let's do this now. Vertical mode. This is 32 and this one is 660. This one is really difficult to, to control. This is now 100%. Trying to take off. Oops. No, it goes. It goes forward for some reason. But why? It goes forward for some reason. Well, I need to really um, do this thing uh, where I can control it, um, like control the wings in such a way that it's, uh, that we can go backwards. Let's try again. vertical mode that's vertical mode yeah it could be I have to look at the at the center of mass where is it exactly located?
There, there. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, now it went backwards. Now it went backwards. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky. Um, where is the, the center of mass, by the way? Well, the center of mass is not in a bad place. It's a little bit backwards. But now I had the, the, the other effect, right? I was going backwards instead of forwards. Okay, but I, I think in general it... Um, yeah, it works. It's, it's just that we need fine-tuning. And of course I need to... Um, I need to... To finish like the the main structure and have like um, a pilot uh, module to make sure that it's working, because uh, what I, as I said, what I um, expect is that the 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 power of the The power of the fans are not going to be enough to lift the, the whole craft. Like, it would be very heavy. That's what I expect. And of course, since since the fans, oops, that's too fast. Since the fans are, um, since the fans are different sizes, like the the main one or the large one, and the rear ones are the smaller, then yeah, it's hard to uh, calibrate. There we go. Whoa! Yes, this is what it does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's burning now. So you see <laughs> what's the effect. Okay, now now it went forward, but it's it's really hard to to calibrate now. I need to um I need to get to the to the like uh, the numbers but the thing is once I get these numbers um I wonder if um yeah if if I I need like a a constant number Pro probably I need like a base a base number right where where I know that um they are working together like both like all the four fans are providing uh, the right uh, torque for the aircraft to be stable and then having like a, a key binded to um, to a rotation axis like the the yeah like this um, it's called the pitch to be able to control the pitch of the aircraft by changing these these numbers like the 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 torque uh, something that controls the torque applied by by the the pair of engines either the the mains or the or the or the aux auxiliary uh, i was thinking that also if i can control the torque uh, in another way like pairing the the port um, fans and the starboard fans i could um 
I could I could make like the the sideways thing, right? Yeah, that's that could be a solution. Like uh, because of course once the for example the port the port uh, fans if they have more torque than the than the starboard ones then the the craft will tilt uh, to the right uh, but also this tilting will make the craft um, go that way so that that could be um, a solution to control the, the the movement to the right and to the left but right now my, uh, the the goal for me is to balance the torque to to get to this m number where i know that uh, the, the all the 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 fans are working together okay guys so i will leave it there um i don't know if um yeah at some point it would be good to maybe explain uh have a detailed explanation of the of the engines how i configure it but i will leave this for another video perhaps how, how i did this um, with the engines uh, working like these modular engines it's not hard but but you need to like know a few things and to get them working okay guys so hope you like the video and hope to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off